In 1818, Mary Shelley wrote the classic horror story Frankenstein, in which a mad scientist named Victor Frankenstein creates a living man out of body parts retrieved from graveyards. The result of his experiments is a monster. Is it possible that there was a real man upon whom Mary Shelley based her character, Victor Frankenstein? Some, including historian Radu Florescu, think so. His name was Johann Conrad Dippel, a German theologian, physician, and occultist. Dippel was born at Castle Frankenstein near Darmstadt in 1673. He was a controversial theologian. His enemies accused Dippel of being a cult leader who used his charisma to enthrall his listeners, not for religious purposes, but for personal power and financial gain. He was accused of taking away all their intelligence of truth and good and leaving them in a kind of delirium. Dippel eventually served seven years in prison for heresy. Dippel had a checkered career. He created an animal oil known as Dippel's Oil, which he claimed was the elixir of life. At one point, Dippel attempted to purchase Castle Frankenstein in exchange for the formula for this elixir. There are claims that during his stay at Castle Frankenstein, Dippel practiced alchemy and the black arts. Other tales tell of Dippel performing experiments on cadavers in which he tried to transfer the soul of one cadaver into another. Soul transference with cadavers was a common experiment among alchemists at the time and was a theory that Dippel supported in his writings. Supposedly, he was driven out of town when local villagers learned the nature of his fiendish experiments. In his dissertation, Maladies and Remedies of the Life of the Flesh, Dippel claimed to have discovered both the elixir of life and the means to exorcise demons through potions that he made up from boiled animal bones and flesh. One minister accused Dippel of grave robbing, experimenting on cadavers, and keeping company with the devil. He was banned in Sweden and Russia because of his strange theological positions. Johann Conrad Dippel died at Castle Wittgenstein in 1734 at the age of 61. Some of his followers suspected that he had been poisoned by his enemies. A year before his death, Dippel wrote a pamphlet in which he claimed to have discovered an elixir that would keep him alive until the age of 135. Was this, perhaps, a promising career cut short?